let's bring up the wonderful world of wizardry and let's bring up the magic mapping parchment fantastic all right whiz kids let's get down to wizness here and we'll get right into gilgamesh's i think and get everybody off their bar stools Ed, Ryan Miller, Run DMCA, Gnome de Plume, whoops, <laughs> Gnome de Plume, Bam Mike Bossy, and Snarkeesian, who's already added an elevator. Okay, so we'll have to reorder in camp. Uh, hit the uh, L key instead of the, I don't know, it was either the J or the K key. All right, so since last time, the only person to level is gnome de plume so let's take a look at him he got i do believe he got 12 hit points and uh some changes to his uh <laughs> characteristics there i think i think he lost strength and agility or no wait yeah yeah i think he lost strength and agility and gained piety and one of these days I'll actually remember what happens there when they level. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. The important bit is he got 12 hit points, which sure beats one hit point. Which is what um, Team Foolish Pride normally gets when their members level. And um, he learned a spell or two. I think he only learned one. And I think that was Badi. And that's the one that may or may not give one monster a heart attack and kill that monster. So there you go. That's all the leveling news. Now, I have, since we got into uh, Gilgamesh's a little prematurely here, because I do have one real-world update about um, the magic mapping parchment. I've done the uh, needful on the glitches, or excuse me, excuse me, what am I saying here? Uh, Trevor's team of conjurers has done the needful on the magic mapping parchment and corrected all the glitches based upon Team Foolish Pride's empirical knowledge and exploration and actual finding out about the uh the maze or the proving grounds whichever you prefer to call it so there you go so um <laughs> in the real world i've updated uh my dropbox account with the code changes the map.tx excuse me map data.txt changes so all two or three of you who will ever use the magic mapping parchment while playing wizardry should once again i remind you if you watch the video, the Magic Mapping Parchment Installment Tutorial video, do not try to copy the URLs that are in the actual imagery of the video. Go instead to the video description below the video and copy and paste the URL that I constantly update for mapdata.txt or any more of my code or or uh, essential files for um, the magic mapping parchment copy that URL that's in the video description and that way you'll get the latest and greatest code data what have you and uh, there we go okay so enough babbling about all of that stuff we need to we need to get into camp and reorder and in order to do that, we got to get into the maze. So let's do that now. Um, right. Reorder. Ryan Miller. Run DMCA. Gnome de Plume. Oh, you know what? And there's one more thing I got to do. There's one more thing I almost forgot before we plunged it back down into the deep levels of the Proving Grounds. Um, and who would buy it? Bam, Mike Bossy. <laughs> And uh, Snarkeesian, who foolishly got added at three, and then Elevator. Okay, and what that thing is we need to do is we need to give Gnome de Plume the cold chainmail. 
because Elevator has once again gone to Trevor's library and uh, wooed the uh, scribe there who runs the library into letting her do some research. You know, they're starting to get uh, get to know one another pretty well. There may be a uh, there may be a matrimony announcement coming along soon. <laughs> Okay, so she got uh, some research done, and she found out that cold chainmail is about the best chainmail you can find in the Proving Grounds. So let's look at Gnome de Plume, and he needs to. I believe that Band Mike Bossy is in possession of the cold chainmail at the moment. He's got a breastplate plus one. Wait till you see where his armor class drops to when he puts on this cold chainmail. If elevators, <laughs> assuming elevator uh, got the right um, uh, uh, information from her research. <laughs> assuming she's not making a foolish mistake here. All right, so let's trade with Band Mike Bossy. No gold. We will trade. Hopefully it lets me trade an equipped item here. No, of course it doesn't. All right, so um, let's trade instead. Let's trade with Van Mike Bossy. And let's trade, oh, it doesn't matter, the key of silver, right? Okay, so now let's go to Van Mike Bossy and trade with Gnome de Plume. And he doesn't have the, never mind. Who the heck has it? Uh, Snarkeesian? Let's look at Snarkeesian, no. Elevator. Aha! Elevator has it. Okay, so she will trade with Gnome de Plume. And um, that will be no gold, but number five. Great. Okay, so now we go to Gnome de Plume. Now, again, his, take a look at his armor class. Right now at his armor class of one, right? He is going to equip Mace plus one, Cold Chainmail, shield plus one and it only went down one <laughs> okay well that's still an improvement um i thought it was going to go down a little bit more but yeah uh that's that's all right we'll take that um and now he can he can trade with band mike bossy he can trade no gold he's going to trade number seven his plus one breastplate and, oh, and the other thing about cold chainmail is is it has, um, as you might expect, since it's called cold chainmail, it has resistance to fire uh, protection. So I don't know to what extent, how well that's going to work. If, you know, like uh, dragons or dragon pups breathe on the party, if everybody else is going to die, but Gnome de Plume's going to be the last gnome standing there or something, I have no idea. But we're going to, well... We don't want to run into too many dragons or dragon pups. But if we do, hopefully we're going to find out. So there you go. Now, Bam Mike Bossy wants to trade the Key of Silver back to Gnome de Plume. And free up that space in his own inventory, right? So the Key of Silver is number five. Okay. Fantastic. Now, we're just going to... Zip right back up to uh, the castle. And we are going to go to Ball Tax real quick. And Ban Mike Bossy is going to sell... What is he going to... He's going to sell that plus one breastplate, right? Because we got to get every scrap of gold piece we can out of the Wizardry World. No, that's going to be it. Okay, great. Um, let's go to Gil Gilgamesh's. Let's divvy the gold. <laughs> All right. Now that everybody is in uh, proper party order and wearing the proper armor, it is nice to see that zero on uh, Gnome de Plume's armor class. Although I thought he was going to get into negative territory. But um, yeah, whatever. You never know until you can't know what the armor's armor class is until you put it on, you know? That's just the, the way it is. Wizardry, uh, like I said, uh, items in wizardry should come with a spec sheet, but they, but they don't. <laughs> All right, so let's get the edge of town. Let's hit the maze. 
And now we need to start thinking about where we're going in the maze here because last episode I promised, or the last couple of episodes, last several episodes, I've been promising to uh, finish exploring all of level seven. But I think we're going to go to level six because I, uh, due to uh, last, the experience in last episode with the glitches in the magic mapping parchment, um, I'm pretty much convinced at this point that there is a, there's a door I missed. There's some way to get to more of level six than they've gotten to so far. So anyway, let's get Ban Mike Bossy um, to cast our favorite spell here, Maporfic. There we go. And um, right, so he's not going to cast Low Milwa till we get past the um, little bit of darkness in the maze. No, we will not stay, take the stairs up. We will, in fact, head down to level six this time. Whoops, we are all kinds of out of uh, sync here, which will happen from time to time. Whoops. So let's get our party back into sync here. All right, there we go. Much better. Okay. Uh, whoops, what is going on? <laughs> We're still out of sync. All right. So. <laughs> We'll get there. You know, it's it's been a while since the party's been down in in the maze, and you know they're they're uh, working off their pints of proving grounds blue ribbon from uh, Gilgamesh's. So they're a little disoriented, but they'll sober up here and <laughs> and get the exploring started. Ooh, an encounter on the first level. Okay, a friendly group of undead kobolds. It's nice when you meet uh, friendly undead. You know. Okay, so. Continue on our way here, and like I said, we're going to head down to the 6th level, as opposed to the 7th level, and uh, hopefully we're going to find a door somewhere to take us to, uh, you know, the section we haven't explored. Now, so A would be 4th level, B would be 5th, we want C, 6th level. Okay, there it is, the sixth level. Now, I mean, just out of guess, I'm going to say that somewhere along either the north wall or the east wall or both, we're going to find a hidden door that we didn't previously find, right? So let's head in that direction. And actually, first, let's, in order to find hidden doors, you need Low Milwa, do you not? So, Bam Mike Bossy is going to cast... Okay, wonderful. Let's get out of camp. And let's look very carefully at each section of the east wall, unlike we obviously did the last time we explored the sixth level. Okay, and I think I already see it. Holy crap. Two men in black. Two men in leather. Okay, Ryan Miller, fight group one. Run DMCA, fight group one. Gnome to plume, fight group one. Why not? Ban Mike Bossy. So nobody surprised anybody. Let's get a Bob Matu going. All right? And Starkeesian will watch. And Elevator. She's, you know, she did a lot of research. She can take a little time off here, you know? Okay, let's see how it goes. Kiss Bamatu right away. We like that. Man in Black misses. 40 damage. Ryan Miller misses. 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 22 damage. 7 damage. Okay, we didn't kill anybody, but we didn't get hurt there at all either, did we? Okay, so, and look, look at Gnome de Plume's sparkling new cold chainmail plus Bamatu armor class. That is awesome. <laughs> fight group one, fight group one. All right, let's just fight group one and get rid of them. I'm sure they're all, well, I don't know that. They're, oh, you know what? Probably ninjas and thieves, are they not? Yeah, so group one's kind of uh, the priority here, is it not? Alright, so, uh, tell you what, we'll do a 
Lidocon, right, on group two, and that ought to make the thieves feel like, you know, they're not being left out here in our uh, aggressive uh, attacks on them, on the enemies. Okay, Snarkeesian, you will take Patriarchal Melee off, and Elevator, you will as well. Man in Black is killed, nice. Man in Black is killed, very nice. Killed! 13 damage, okay. Ryan Miller misses. Mm. Couldn't take care of that last one, could we? Alright, fight, 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 parry, parry, parry. Man in Leather is killed, nice. 826 experience points and a chest. We will have Gnome Plume Calfo and we will not take his word for it. Uh, teleporter, okay. Let's uh, let's have Snarkeesian confirm or deny that. All right, inspect Snarkeesian. Alarm, she says. All right, so now we go in for the, we've got teleporter or we've got alarm. Now we go in for for the final word here. <laughs> oh, damn you, wizardry. Three different uh, opinions on what the chest trap is. Okay, so I guess, you know, Snarkeesian will take your word for it for some reason. I, I don't know what else. All right, so you said it was an alarm, right? Oops, Mage Blaster. Look, Band Like Bossy was right. Okay, so that means that what happened there? Petrified. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, elevator is petrified. Then now, does that mean she's like stone? Or does. <laughs> oh crap. Or does that mean she's terrified? Like, there's two. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. <laughs> let's try. I don't think this is going to work, but let's get into camp here. And I, I mean, I only have, I've got Dialco or um, or Latimophis, right? Latimophis is for poisoning, and Dialco's for paralyzation. I think it will it work with petrification. <laughs> okay, so uh, Ban, Ban Mike Bossy is going to cast uh, Dialco, I guess, and we're going to see if this works. Cast it on. Um, elevator. Let's see what happened. Nope, she's still petrified. <laughs> I guess I could try a Latimophis, and maybe maybe it's for more than than just poisoning. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, we're going back up to the. I gotta take her to the Temple of Khan. Anyway, if this doesn't work, so let's. Uh, I'm just. I'm thinking about the wasted spell points. If it doesn't work, but I mean it. it if it doesn't work, we got to go back up to the castle anyway and get her um, and take her to the Temple of Khan. Okay, so Latumophis. Man, is there an anti-petrification spell? I don't even. I'm, I've never. I've never had a party member get petrified before. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of camp and uh, let's head back up to the castle and get to the Temple of Khan. A first level encounter. <laughs> first level. First level has been trying to get our attention a lot lately, has it not? Okay, so fight, 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 parry, 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 and stay petrified. Gobble is killed. Gobble is killed. Gobble is killed. Okay. Fight, 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 parry, parry. Petrified. Gobble is killed. Twelve gold pieces. All right, there you go. Okay. Continue on our way to the uh, castle. Alright, I don't think anybody is scratched up, right? We just have a statue of elevator we've been dragging along. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll head up the stairs. Okay, so yeah, I think that's quite clear that petrification does not mean uh, fear of any kind. It means you've been turned to stone. She's been turned. She's been turned to ash, stone, you name it. She's uh, she's been there. Okay, so let's get to the Temple of Khan. And uh, welcome to the Temple of Khan. Who shall we help? Why, elevator, of course. She's she's a regular here anymore. Twenty-two hundred gold pieces. Who will tip? And that will be Ryan Miller. 
Murmur. Chant. Pray. Elevator has been healed. There you go. It's very nice to get her back once again. All right, so let's get into Gilgamesh's. Let's add her back to the party. I'm sure she wants to head for the bar, but sorry, Elevator. You uh, you got to get right back to it here. Um, all right, edge of town. Let's get to the maze. Let's cast our favorite spell, Maporfic. And we will head down to the seventh, or excuse me, to the sixth level. Not <laughs> the first level encounter. We surprise the monsters. All right, fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Slime is killed. Slime is killed. Slime is killed. 27 experience points and 15 gold pieces. Okay. Continue down to the sixth level. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, another uh, encounter here on the first level. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Misses. Slime is killed. Slime is killed. Slime is killed. Alright, 27 exam. Deja vu all over again. 13 gold pieces. Okay. Alright. Sixth level. Here we come. Maybe. Alright. Should be here at the sixth level. We should have gotten past all the encounters on lower levels. And uh, look at that. Wow. Maze is busy today, huh? Or tonight, or whatever it is down in the maze. Okay, Gaze Hounds. That sounds like, once again, <laughs> sounds like more petrification headed our way. So, let's have Ryan Miller, Fight Group 1, Fight Group 1, Fight Group 1, and Ban Mike Bossy is going to cast Lidocon on does, he might have body as well tell you what let's go if he's got it let's cast body on the one gaze hound there uh so Arkeesian will watch an elevator will cast medalto on group one all right let's see how we do here gaze hound is killed five damage misses gaze hound is killed Misses, misses, misses. Is slain. All right, body work there. Gaze hound and Madalto's working as well. Killed, killed. All right, there we go. We got rid of all the gaze hounds. I, I just don't like the sound of those things. I've mentioned it before. All right, so we got about a thousand experience points there and 51 gold pieces each. And there is no chest with a mage blaster to petrify elevator. I don't know. It's a uh, mixed bag there. It'd be nice to have some loot, but, you know, when you get three different opinions on the uh, trap, it's a little little scary. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need Lomilwa, don't I? Oh, dear. Four level seven mages. Thankfully, we surprise them. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Level seven mages killed. Level seven, level seven mages killed. Thirteen damage. Okay, Ryan Miller will fight, 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 and I think we'll just parry here. Level 7 mage is killed. Oh, Lavalito, 20, wow. 16 damage. Well, 13 damage. I should, I should have taken a little more uh, a serious approach to that last mage. All right, let's say, couldn't kill him before he got off that. Oh, you know what? That was, that was... Lajolito should have been uh, fire damage, right? So Gnome the Plume should have resisted that pretty well. Anyway, I suppose that's... Uh, we got uh, more important things to work about here. The fact that Elevator's down to 8 hit points. Okay, Calfo. Alright, could one of you get it right? Or could I know who gets it right at least somehow? I mean, that would be nice. So Gnome the Plume, Poison... He says Poison Needle. Um, what does Snarkeesian say? Yeah, that'll be five. Well, thank you for agreeing with one another. Okay, disarm. Snarkeesian poison needle. Disarm trap. Nice. 
on the staff. Oh, you know what? I never, in all the petrification hubbub, I never even checked to see if we got loot um, last time uh, when uh, in the last chest. All right, anyway, so we got to get into camp and heal everybody up, and then we will check our loot. All right, everybody's healed up. And we're going to have Ban Mike Bossy cast Lomilwa before we get into the... Oops, what the hell? We are out of camp. That's the problem. Okay, somehow I left camp. Let's go with Ban Mike Bossy casting Lomilwa. Okay, and um, now we need to look at, who is it, maybe Snarkeesian? Yeah, she's got a staff, so trade with Band Mike Bossy, no gold, trade number five, and does Elevator have anything that needs to be traded with Band Mike Bossy? No. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so let's look at Bam Mike Bossy again here, and let's have him inspect the staff. And that's going to be a staff. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, and I think that's everything we need to do in camp, right? So let's leave camp. And we got out of sync a little bit here. Let's sync up the windows again. Now, um... Yeah, so this should be the door that um, takes us to the section of maze we haven't explored before, right? Look at that. Very nice. It is a one-way hidden door. Okay, looks like we got a little T intersection up ahead here. South or north? Let's go south first. Um, the Seems to have been a message. Yes? No? Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's go back and see. Yeah, it's like the, uh, like the Proving Grounds wanted to tell us something there. But it couldn't quite get the message off to us. <laughs> okay. Now, do we keep going down the hallway, or do we try this door? Let's try this door here, which hopefully is actually a door. All right, there you go. We've got um, a bit of a room here. Okay. And, yeah. An encounter. Okay. Surprise the monsters. Two men in robes. Six level four thieves. Now, did anybody surprise anybody? I didn't didn't notice. Uh, men in robes and level four thieves. All right, so we want to do away with the men in robes first, obviously. Fight group one. Fight group one. Um, yeah. Uh, Gnome to plume. I think you want to fight group one too. We surprised them. All right, so parry, parry, parry. There we go. Man in robes is killed. And Rose is killed, thankfully. Very nice. Six level four thieves. Okay, so fight, fight, fight. Spell Bamatu. Okay, what the heck did I do there? Fight, fight, fight. Spell Bamatu. Okay. Uh, um. Sarkeesian has to... It's a question is, what is Elevator going to do here? Tell you what. She will cast a Mahalito. Soften them up a little bit. Level 4 Thief is killed. Level 4... Well, she's doing a little more than softening them up. She's wiping them out. 9 damage. 18 damage. Okay. That's not bad. 20 damage. Not bad. Misses. And did we? We didn't get the Ba Matu off yet. No, and we did not. Uh, hence the two damage. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we got the Ba Matu off. Misses. Okay, three of them left. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Level four thief is killed. 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 All right, nice job, everybody. Who got scratched there? Gnome de Plume did. Okay, Calfo. 
Gnome Bloom, Priest Blaster. And let's have, who do we want to have here? Uh, we want, obviously, Snarkeesian to inspect. And Mage Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna, you know what? <laughs> If I don't get a corroborating uh, Calfo here with Bam Mike Bossy, I'm just gonna leave this chest alone. So we got a, it's either a Priest Blaster or a Mage Blaster according to Gnome de Plume and Sarkeesian. So let's Calfo again. Bam Mike Bossy, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, with each chest I, you know, um, damn it. Can Sarkeesian inspect twice? You already looked, she cannot. Can Gnome de Plume Calfo twice? Ma he says Mage Blaster. Elevator says, no, he said Priest Blaster last time. Did he not? Okay, so let's try another Calfo on the part of Bam Mike Bossy. Priest. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, so, um, right. All right, so what do I want to, what do I want to say <laughs> Um, I really just don't want to get another Petrified Party member. Uh, alright. But I, I just have a feeling because we were getting messages that this might be an important chest, an important encounter, an important loot, but... Oh, hell with it. We'll just, um... <laughs> we'll have Snarkeesian say that... She thought it was an exploding box, didn't she? Oh, this is going to be a mistake, isn't it? Oops, Mage Blast. The elevator gets petrified again. I can't even believe it. Okay, did we... <laughs> okay, I think we can cure... Excuse me. Cure paralysis. So let's get into camp. And let's have Van Mike Bossy cast. I didn't even look to see what... What did we get there? Did we get any loot there? Um, <clears throat> let's cast Dialco on Elevator. Done. Okay. There we go. Now, we have one party member in the form of Gnome de Plume with a scratch. So let's cast uh, Dios real quick here. There we go. Alright, so we should have all of our party members healed up unparalyzed, and all we really have to do is check the loot. Um, Sarkeesian didn't get anything, and Elevator didn't get okay. So it was just gold in that chest. Okay, let's leave the encounter window. Now, we've got a little bit of difference of opinion between the Magic Mapping Parchment and the Proving Grounds. So, can I go? Ah, there you go. All right, so. Lo Milwa does not pick up those doors. I didn't know that. All right, there you go. There was no difference of opinion. There was just um, me not understanding my own spells. That's all. Okay, so let's get back to that area. And let's see. Oh, I thought there was a door. No, I thought there was a door to the south in this little hallway that we're in. There is not the door. The only door into this section. I'll tell you what. Let's go down the hallway. All right. So it's going to jump us to the other end of the map there. Let's hold off on that before we completely uh, explore the south. Or before we can completely explore. Okay. Right. Here we go. No encounter. Interesting. Doesn't look like. Alright, so there's a little section of the south part of the maze, that of the sixth level of the maze, that is, that doesn't want to reveal itself. Okay, fair enough. Let's go back up to the mysterious information square that has no information and keep heading north. All right, let's see all these hidden doors here on the sixth level. No wonder I couldn't discover this section. All right, so kind of looking mirror image-like. Wizardry does that a lot, does it not? An encounter. Wow, thank God we surprised them. 
I thank the gods, which are wizardry doesn't have a, I don't think there's any monotheism in the world of wizardry. Maybe there is, who knows? Okay, so Ryan Miller, uh, who are you going to fight? You are going to, f we're going to get rid of the high priests first. So fight group two, fight group two, fight group two, and everybody else is going to parry. 14 damage. Priest is killed, nice. 20 damage. Okay, champ samurai, high priests. Um, still going to go for group two, still going to go for group two. Still going to go for group two. You are going to cast Bamatu. And Snarkeesian is going to take the Patriarchal Melee off. Now here's the, the 64 million gold piece question. Does Elevator try a Machinito here? Or are we going to find out the Champ Samurais are just going to resist the Machininos? I think that's what we're going to find out. So actually, she's going to cast... Hmm, I'm tempted here to cast, I don't know, uh, do we want to do Masopic and really bring the armor classes down? I think we do. I think we want to cast Masopic. Okay, get those, Priestess Kill, nice. Cast Masopic, that's nice. I wanted them to get that off, those spells off right away. Misses. <laughs> Here we go with the uh, is slap gnome the plume. Not bad, like not as good. So he can hopefully get off the uh, Bamatu that he was supposed to cast. Misses. Three damage. Misses. Misses. High priest is killed. Nice. Cast Bamatu. Nice. Katino. Not so nice. <laughs> oh my. I think everybody's asleep now. Wonderful. <laughs> Snarkeesian is not slept, but I think she was slept the last Katino spell, so that doesn't do me much good. Oh no, well, if she was, she woke up. All right, it looks like she's going to have to take part in the melee here, so she can't take the patriarchal melee off. All right, so Bam Mike Bossy is... Look at those wonderful armor classes, though, even though half of them are asleep. <laughs> Fight group one, Snarkeesian, fight group one, elevator, spell, Madalto on group one. Okay, let's see how it goes. 13 damage, three damage, misses, 35 damage, nice, 38 damage. Oh yeah, these guys got a lot of hit points, don't they? 41 damage, 39 damage, 40 damage. 40 damage, 10 damage, ouch, Champ Samurai is killed, nice job, Bam Mike Bossy, 5 damage, misses, misses, okay, so we've only got one party member run DMCA asleep now, okay, so Ryan Miller is going to fight group 1, Gnome Duploon is going to fight group 1, I'd really rather have uh, Snarkeesian attack and Bam Mike Bossy cast, but... Okay, so spell... I might have to finally uh, adjust that, because, again, Snarkeesian's got the same... Uh, well, I mean, it really only comes into play if, if one of the first three party members are incapacitated at some in some way, so... I don't know. I, I, I probably shouldn't fuss over it now. Anyway, so Lido Khan, and that's going to be on group two to soften them up. Um, you, Starkeesian's going to watch. Elevator is going to cast Dalto on group one. And here we go. Nine damage. Misses. Champ Samurai is killed. 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 19 damage. Just couldn't get that last one, huh? Misses. 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 12 damage. 13 damage. Okay. Misses. Should have... Oh, we got three left. Okay. I thought we killed... Yeah, right. He attacked... Um, okay. 
Got three of them left, and I think we're just going to go... We're going to lay out the spells for now. Fight group one. Gnome de Plume is going to fight group two. Bam Mike Bossy is going to fight group two. Parry, parry. Jam Samurai is killed. Misses. Misses. Ryan Miller is slept. Is slept. I touch. <laughs> Not slept. Is slept. Not slept. All right, looks like it's uh, two against two. No, nope. we've some other people have woken up. <laughs> okay, so fight group one. Oh, we only have group one now. Fight, fight, spell, dot two, and let's see what happens. Nine damage, twenty-three damage, seventeen damage, twenty-six damage. Boy, they're tough. Misses. Champ Samurai is killed. Misses. Alright, one left. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry. And have a nap. Killed. There we go. 4,000 experience points. And another damn chest. Alright, so Snarkeesian's asleep here. Do I even... Unless it says no uh, trap twice, what the heck do I do? Oh, maybe she can inspect it. Let's just first do that. Let's inspect Mage but She says, in her sleep, <laughs> she says Mage Blaster. So let's Calfo, Gnome to Bloom. You say Alarm. And Ban my Bossy says what? Calfo, Ban my Bossy, Alarm. Okay, so it's an Alarm. Just a question of whether or not Snarkeesian can um, wake up and disarm it so let's give it a uh, this is ridiculous but alarm disarm the trap in your sleep found the sword nice 63 gold pieces okay so and now everybody's awake but we're out of order that's strange when you're in melee when you wake up you wake up in the proper order place but when you're out of melee and you wake up you do not wake up in the proper order uh, proper order position Okay, so let's get into camp and let's heal everybody and inspect our loot. Okay, everybody's in order and now we and healed. I hope everybody's healed. Did I skip anybody? No, everybody is healed. So let's take a look at loot. And that's going to be Ban Mike Bossy with the sword. Don't have a clue. Identified it. Longsword. Okay, so we've got a crappy staff and a crappy longsword. Does anybody else have loot? It does not look like it. All right, let's get back up to the castle. We're pretty low on spell points. Let's get back up to the castle and sell that crappy loot and get our spell points back. Oops, got an encounter. Friendly group of life stealers. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's like, you know, most of everybody's friends throughout their lives. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't say that. Okay, so let's uh, continue on to the castle. All right, everybody's healed. Oh, you know what? Elevator is not healed up. I forgot to heal Elevator. All right, so must have been in the, uh, the reorder that I just kind of... Um, when Snarkeesian woke up in the sixth spot, I just didn't see that elevator was wounded there. Okay, so anyway, let's take care of that real quick. Okay, so now elevator is healed up. Let's get up to the castle. Get into Baltax. And have Ban Mike Bossy sell that crappy junk that we picked up. Sell staff. Yes, sell longsword. Okay, let's get out of ball tax. Let's get into Gilgamesh's and divvy up that small little bit of gold there. And get back down to the sixth level. Cast more perfect. And 
Get on our way here. Two scruffy men, and we surprise the monsters. Okay, we're going to give them... Uh, they're scruffy. We're going to give them a shave, all right. Shave the heads right off. Right. Fight, parry, parry, parry. Scruffy man is killed. Scruffy man is killed. Okay, there we go. A little first level experience points and loot. Get out of the encounter window and continue down to the sixth level. Alright, we're back. Let's see what kind of uh, encounters we're going to run into before we get to finish exploring the sixth level. We always seem to get an encounter here. And we were surprised by a spirit, which is going going to miss, thankfully. Okay, so we're going to fight, fight. Just, I don't like spirits very much, so we're going to dispel, dispel, and then we're going to parry, parry. Fails to dispel, and like bossy fails to dispel. I am Miller, this is why I don't like them. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, everybody is slept. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that just like Team Foolish Pride? Okay, so Ryan Miller and Starkeesian are the only ones not asleep. 18 damage. Spirit has Dilto. Spirit is killed. Alright. So the powerful duo of Ryan Miller and Snarkeesian got rid of the spirit. Okay, so now both of our Calfo guys are asleep, but, you know, that didn't seem to uh, stop Snarkeesian from inspecting and disarming the chest last time, so... Calfo, that's going to be Gnome de Plume. He says Gas Bomb. Inspect... Snarkeesian says gas bomb as well. <laughs> I can tell you, we do better inspecting traps when we're <laughs> when we're asleep. I should just there should be a way to put your character to, sl to sleep and then inspect the trap. Okay, so disarm and um, and all the silliness. I forgot what the heck it what <laughs> what did we get for um, the answer to the calfo? It was gnome de plume. Gas bomb, right? I was, I was thinking exploding box for some reason. Close. Um, all right, so disarm. Snarkeesian. Gas bomb. Disarm the trap. And got 48 gold pieces and no items. Okay, now we have to get into camp and reorder. Ryan Miller, run the MCA. Gnome de Plume. Ban Mike Bossy. Snarky's in an elevator. Okay, let's leave camp. And we need our... We don't have little, little Milwa, do we? So we got to get back into camp here. I'm doing things all out of order here. All right, spell low Milwa. Now we can leave camp. And head through... Head to the unexplored section of level 6. All right. Last time we went through this door, didn't end so well. We are seeing a hidden door here, right? Okay, and okay. oops, the uh, there's a glitch in the magic mapping parchment. <laughs> Shocker, I tell you. Okay, so let me uh, let me get into. Highlight the magic mapping parchment here. Get into the uh, teleport. Oops, you know what? We need to see which square. We want to go to... We want to go to 16 and 9 on the 6th level. So, 16 and 9 on the 6th level. All right. Oops, going to let me select that. 16 and 9, like so. There we go. Teleport. One square over. Okay, fantastic. Now we can get back into that unexplored section and keep ooh, an encounter. We surprised six level 7 mages. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Level 7 mages killed. 
Level 7 mage is killed. 11 damage. And four of them left. Fight, fight, fight. Um, spell Lidocon. Harry, spell Mudalto. Let's not mess around here. 21 damage. Oh dear. 19 damage. 26 damage. 22 damage. 22 damage. And elevator is killed. <laughs> she is having a really rough go here. All right. So now she's dead and we got people asleep. Okay. So Matt's left. 9 damage. 16 damage. 7 damage. Nine, I tell you, level 7 mages, man, they are still, still are like most dire enemies here. Level 7 mages killed. Level 7 mages killed. All right, so we've got three of them left. Got one dead party member and two, <laughs> two sleeping party members. I should, this is no laughing matter. Why am I laughing? So, uh, mayhem uh, in the uh, Team Foolish Pride ranks. Fight. Um, spell. You've got Lorto, do you not? And fight. Sarkeesian's getting a chance to take part in melee. This, uh, this is, you know, uh, usually beneath her, but, you know, she's getting forced into it. Level 7 mage is killed! 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 And that's it. And good riddance. 42 gold. It's, there's, there's no chest. Okay, so we got to get into camp. Let's get into camp. And let's see how well... Uh, Bam Mike Bossy... Let's, let's reorder. Just before we forget to do that. Ryan Miller... Oops, no. I'm already screwing up the order here. Um, okay, so I have to go through. <laughs> Should be Ryan Miller first, not run DMCA. Alright, and Gnome de Plume, and uh, Bam Mike Bossy, and um, obviously going to be Snarkeesian, and then the the dead person. <laughs> okay, so let's try that reorder again. And this time, let's get Ryan Miller, then run DMCA. Gnome to Plume, Bam Mike Bossy, Snarkeesian, and this is Dead Person, or Ms. Dead Person. She's not married yet. I mentioned there could be a matrimony in the works, but she's not dead yet. All right, um, now we need, who should try it first? Should it be Gnome to Plume or Bam Mike Bossy? Now, Bam Mike Bossy has had um, success in the past trying to raise Elevator, has he not? So let's, let's try him. Spell D on elevator. <laughs> Oops. Okay, she turned to ashes. Now I guess I'm not going to be able to do anything here for her. Let's um let's heal up everybody else. Let's do that. Alright, now I think everybody's healed up and I don't think I have any loot to identify or anything like that. No, it doesn't look like it. No, can we inspect? Yeah, we can, we can inspect. Could, would she be able to trade with anybody while she's a pile of ashes? All right. <laughs> this is becoming fairly routine here. Let's drag Elevator back up to the castle and resurrect her, or hopefully have te the Temple of Kant resurrect her. And at this point, I'm pretty sure that, you know, either we're leaving a line of ashes that's starting to grow like two inches deep from the uh, Proving Grounds floor all the way back up to the castle, or, you know, if, if she's just petrified, her heels as we drag her are leaving like grooves in the Proving Grounds floor. Anyway, let's get back up to the castle. Uh oh, an encounter. <laughs> They're friendly, thankfully. Okay, these are not friendly. That's bad. Unseen entity. Alright, fight group one. Fight group one. Dispel. 
this, oops, which fight? She's gonna fight group two, I guess. Okay, and parry and be dead. Be a pile of ashes. Alright, Miller attempts to slice an unseen entity. Entity is killed. 12 damage. Okay, life stealer. There we go. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, try a dispel. And, um, yeah, parry. See how it goes. Life stealer is killed. Alright, phew. Got out of that without, um,. That's anything terrible happening. That's good to know. All right, so Bam Mike Bossy failed to dispel. Uh, 140 gold pieces and no chest. All right, so we're uh, trying to get back up here to the, or trying to get back up to the castle here. And let's see if we'll finally be allowed to do that. No. <laughs> Monster surprised us. Right, tell you what, the level, level 6 does not want us to explore its secrets here. It is really trying to teach us a lesson. Oh, man. Okay, so we need to get serious about this. Fight group 1, fight group 1, spell Lorto, and that's going to be on group 2. Spell... Lidocon, and that's going to be on group two. Whoops, what happened there? Spell Litocon. Probably spelled it wrong, didn't I? And that's going to be on group two, is it not? All right, what am I doing here? Oh, he's out of spell points. That's the problem. Oh, I'm such a knucklehead. Okay, so what's he going to do instead? He's going to parry. Okay, and obviously Snarkeesian is going to parry, and let's see how it goes. Two damage, 22 damage, 26 damage, 21 damage, 22 damage, 11 damage, 1 damage, 3 damage, misses, misses, ooh, that's not good, alright. Priest is killed. That is good. Level 6 ninja misses. Alright, we're down to 5 level 6 ninjas. And Van Mike Bossy has no spell points. I have to remember that. Fight, fight. Spell. Lorto. Or would a Lidocon be? But does he have Lidocon? Can't remember him. He does. Alright, parry, parry. Level 6 ninja is killed. Nice. 12 damage, not so nice. Level 6 ninja is killed, is killed. 9 damage, 18 damage. Misses. Alright, two of them left. We're fighting for our lives here to get back to the castle so we can resurrect Elevator. Fight, 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 and yep, you're still out of spell points, so we really have no choice here as well. Parry, parry, and let's see how it goes. Level 6 ninjas killed. Level 6 ninjas killed. Man. <laughs> Crap. All right, for only only the survivors, so that doesn't mean elevator, obviously. Okay, we, we've got a chest. Calfo, that's going to be Gnome to Plume. Poison Needle, he says. Inspect. Snarkeesian. Poison Needle, they agree. Disarm, Snarkeesian, Poison, Needle, there we go, Disarm the Trap, Found Armor, and 48 Gold Pieces, okay, now we have party members that need to be healed, and hopefully I've got enough uh, spell points to do that, and Gnome the Plume is going to be the only one who really can, so let's get into camp here. And see if Gnome the Plume's got enough left to heal everybody. Alright, looks like everybody is healed up. So let's see what Band Mike Bossy's got in the form of armor there. Identify number five. Chainmail plus one. Huh, we're well past Chainmail plus one. Come on now. Okay, so let's leave camp. And let's <laughs> try to get back up to the castle. Uh, you just can't even make it up. 
A friendly group of life stealers. Okay. See ya, life stealers. All right, everybody except for, for elevator, except for the obvious pile of ashes, is healed up. So let's get up to the castle and let's go to Temple of Khan one more time. Hopefully, only one more time. Should say another time. All right, who will tith? A fifty-five. Well, hey, they when your ashes, they really dig into your uh, pockets pretty deep, don't they? Okay, murmur, chant. Uh, pray and invoke elevator has been healed okay very nice so let's um, get the Gilgameshes let's add her to the party All right and then let's get to Baltax and that will be Van Mike Bossy, right? Because he wants to sell. He wants to sell the chainmail. Plus one. And then we want to get to Gilgamesh's. I don't think anybody else has loot to uh, sell or identify. But let's get the Gilgamesh's and let's check out Snarkesian. Nothing. Elevator, nothing. Okay. So there you go. Um. I'm going to say that despite the promise of uh, despite the promise of trying to get to level 7 and fully explore it yet not even be able, being able to uh, explore level 6 fully <laughs> I think Dean Foolish Pride needs a rest. I think they need a couple stiff drinks in Gilgamesh's and they need to, uh, you know, uh, get some restorative fluid back into elevator. Who's <laughs> turned to ash, turned to stone. Every time you turn around, she's turned into something. Okay, so that's going to be it for this adventuring session down on the Proving Grounds. Well, I tell you, the Proving Grounds, when it wants to be, it is ruthless. Oh, before I forget, let's divvy gold here. Yeah, so, all right, they're going <laughs> to... They're going to recover from this highly unsuccessful attempt at uh, exploring level 6.